we are currently on the top of Hogwarts. I know it's covered in clouds currently, but it really is Hogwarts below all that. That being said, it is not the completely finished Hogwarts, so we still have some work to do on it. Task number one is building the courtyard walls. Task number two is building the astronomy tower, which is maybe the tallest tower in all of Hogwarts. It is gigantic, but I've been putting it off, so I want to get it done. And then the third task is actually a little bit of a secret. Wow. Ooh, a secret task. Secret task. Why is it a secret task? Because I, I want you to watch to the end to the end of my video. Uh. uh this astronomy courtyard right over here. The problem is these are actually pretty flat right now, when in reality, they're gonna be very detailed walls and they're also gonna go all the way around this courtyard. So we have some work to do. These are actually made out of mud bricks, packed mud, dripstone, and tough. And I don't have enough materials for all of those. We will come back to you, Task, I promise. The bees are busy away getting us wheat that will help with our packed mud, but we also need to gather some tough. And I think the best way to get that is to go down into the chamber of secrets. <laughs> so I guess down we go. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I can't believe that just happened. That is not how I expected the beginning of this episode to go. Let's try this much more carefully the second time. <laughs> Luckily, no mobs seem to have grabbed any of my materials, which is great. I did lose some levels though. Like I said, not only is this a nice place to gather materials for our Hogwarts up top, it is also going to be the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Tuff is a fairly common block underground, just like this spot right here. The key is to mine out the whole area once you find something, because it's usually in bit of cavities around your underground area. Would be nice if there wasn't an arrow sticking out of my chest though. And just like that, we have a giant cavity up in the top of our Chamber of Secrets. We'll have to shape this a little bit later, but honestly, I just need the tough right now, so I don't care where I get it. <laughs> Another thing I was thinking of is actually how there are going to be a bunch of tunnels going off the... Are you guys for real right now? There's a bunch of tunnels going off the sides of the Chamber of Secrets, and this is not only a great way to find tough, but it's also a good start. So let's see if we can find ourselves a cavity of tough down here. Somehow I have found diamonds before I have found any tough. Now, I know that's not how tough works. Tough is definitely more common than diamonds. Something's a little fishy, but I will never say no to some diamonds. I will grab those. <laughs> Apparently you gotta look near gravel. Would you look at that? More diamonds. What are the chances? Don't worry, Tough. I'll be right back. I just need more beacon power. <laughs> this is a true mark of a lazy miner. I really don't want to move that beacon. Oh, but that's so worth the speed. Oh my goodness. And that is cavity number two. Hopefully we don't cause some sinkholes. But we're making some progress. We've got almost 13 stacks of Tough here. I suppose this means back to strip mining. At this point, I'm seriously starting to wonder if this is the most effective way to find tough. Whoa, hey, I did not expect him to creep out of there. <laughs> what the? On the other hand, we're actually making some excellent progress in the deep slate department, which is gonna come in handy later for the roofs. And I think it's about time we actually take a lunch break because I am out of shulker boxes and I am having a tool problem with my shovel. It's getting a little bit worn down. I did some reorganizing of my chests and I was able to get a proper count. We have just under a shulker box and a half of tough so far, so we definitely need to go back down and do some more work. But that does not solve the problem of our shovels, so let's first take a quick nap and then head into the nether. To the nether we go. This shouldn't take long at all thanks to Il Mango. Yeah. Someone at the door, John, now I'm here to stay. More break land, less green time. And Honestly, sometimes I feel a little bad for those guys. <laughs> back into the snake pit we go. Jackpot. And for once, it's actually in the beacon range. Can we get a hashtag beef and buff in the hat? Can we get a hashtag beacon needs a buff trending, please? Cavity number three. Honestly, future stuff is gonna thank me a lot for all of this gravel and deep slate I'm getting right now, because I know I'm gonna need these blocks at some point. And that is cavity number four. Looks great. We're just under two and a third shulker boxes now, and so I would like to finish at least that third shulker box before I move on. I just saw this little bit of tough up here in the ceiling and I just couldn't resist. So George, George, please stay out of my way, man. I'm busy here, you know that. <laughs> ah, it feels good to find an easy patch. And that's cavity number five. And I actually think that is all we need. Yep, that is our third shulker box. Finally, daylight. Oh, oh, and what a beautiful sunrise to come up to. Look at that. Ow, that blind me. <laughs> I love emerging from the depths of the Chamber of Secrets to this bright, beautiful castle. <laughs> Look at this thing. I I'm never not in awe of my own work. Is that...
Is that narcissistic? All the work paid off, and now we have one, two, three shulker boxes of tough, and a bonus shulker box of some cobbled deep slate as well. Okay, almost, almost a full box. It was, it had a couple things in it before. Okay, don't blame me. That is only one step that we must take to continue working on this wall. In fact, the next thing we need is some mud. And like I explained earlier, packed mud is a mixture of wheat and mud. And we have some mud left, but we are all out of wheat. So let's go ahead and harvest this bad boy. However, I just realized I put the beehives right in the middle. I'm hoping the water's still gonna flow fine. I actually don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Cross your fingers, everybody. These bees are probably so confused. The flood. Ah! Sorry about ruining your place, dude. Oh, look, we got some things catching. We better go grab all that wheat. I don't want to waste any. Oh, that is not good at all. <laughs> that is more than a stack. Either way, that was the fun part, washing it all away. Now we must plant the seeds, which is the hard part. Go forth and pollinate bees. And just like that, I have spread my seed to all the world. That was... Okay, that was a little out of pocket. I apologize for that. But you must admit, this is a job well done. Look at that bad boy. Oh, <laughs> hello there, castle. You're in my way. The bees are absolutely helping as well. I don't really get it, but uh, apparently that's... Oh. So it's safe to say our farm makes about 10 stacks per harvest. We still need about three or more shulker boxes full of packed mud. And uh, <laughs> yeah, mud is one thing, but getting enough wheat to make that also functional is, is a whole nother thing. They're so cute. I'm not gonna lie. I love these guys so much. All right, go back to work, bees. Now I need so much wheat and it takes a while for this to grow. And so I actually have a plan to pass the time. See, I've been dealing with mobs underneath here for so freaking long. I don't know how many times I've actually died while just wandering underneath my castle. Ooh, for sure. Shadowing. Because with my shaders, this doesn't look that dark. But when we're without shaders, you can see that it's clearly just a giant mob farm. And I think it's time that that changed. There's a couple of different ways to approach it, but for some reason, I feel like making it hard. So we're going to flatten out this area so that we can evenly light it up. And hey, we'll get a little bit of dirt and stone as well. Okay. Oh, okay. See, this is this is clearly a problem. <laughs> no, oh my goodness, look at those spiders. How I'm gonna do this without dying, I don't know. <laughs> this, oh, ow. But you know what they say, if you don't know what to do, start simple. Just keep digging, just keep digging. Harvest number two. Another 10 stacks of wheat, another 10 stacks of packed mud, and another Play-Doh dig. Just keep digging, digging, digging. Oh, there's hurt. Another George Slade. The wheat is looking fine, but our shovel is not. We need to make a pick stop in the nether. And we're back. Harvest number three. And planted once again. <laughs> this is a grind. So I may or may not have been battling this baby zombie for my own possessions for like an hour now. I'm really frustrated about it. Oh, there's also... <laughs> A freaking skeleton with a sword. <laughs> okay, got the skeleton. Baby zombie. The last battle. Oh my goodness. This is why I need to light this place up. I'm so glad I'm doing this. <laughs> so it turns out you can actually get quite a lot of digging done while you're waiting for wheat to grow. <laughs> this is totally unnecessary. And yes, I may be the most inefficient Minecraft player of all time. <laughs> Wanted to flatten this out just so I could light it up easier. It was such a pain and it's such a giant mess of blocks. It also looks kind of cool. I didn't expect it to be like this. Hey, it's, it's organizing and... <laughs> My brain wants it to be straight. This is also going to be perfect if I want to do any dungeons and things like that in the bottom of Hogwarts, which I think I will. Ah, uh, look, that sunset is beautiful. <laughs> that being said, it's time to harvest it once again. And this actually may be the last harvest we need to get our three shulker boxes of packed mud. I'm so ready to move on to building. Out of the three tasks, we have not even finished the first one. So we have so much work to do and I'm loving every second of it. Now that I have a ton of wheat, I'm realizing I also need a bunch of mud and I'm kind of tired of going all the way to the mangrove swamp to get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and build up a little mud farm. I'm doing it right here because this is where I have all of my dirt stashed. Once again, thanks to Il Mingo, we have a farm that works and uh, a ton of mud as well. We have finally gathered the materials that we need to continue the courtyard walls. We can finally start the task. Are you guys ready to begin task number one, building the courtyard? Cause I am, I am, I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm ready right now. Oh, 
this is why I can't play hardcore. <laughs> now I have a confession to make. <laughs> uh, three shulker boxes of each is a completely arbitrary number that I, I just made up, hoping that it would be enough. So I'm assuming it's going to be enough to complete the rest of these walls, but uh, it's very possible it's not. <laughs> this feels like a special moment. Let us start building again. Uh, again, we've been building for a while, but you know. It looks so good. Obviously, we're going to fill in this top, but the important part is that we can actually continue this wall over here. And so it's a giant one. It's got to go all the way up to the roof up there. It feels so good to be placing blocks instead of gathering materials. I can't believe it's taken me so long to get to this point. Mud bricks are now complete. And now the packed mud is in. And the dripstone is now complete. It's wild how fast you can build when you already have the materials. Usually, I'm the type of guy to go get my materials and then build and then go back and forth. And uh, wow. It is now time to use the tuff that we painstakingly gathered, and let's see if we have enough. Psst, I think we do. And the tuff is in. Look at that. Our courtyard is coming together. This is much farther than I expected to get this quickly. It's crazy. The building part has been the fastest part by a long shot. I guess it's not that big. Maybe, maybe I think this build is big, and maybe it's not that big. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go ahead and put in this roof here. So here I am building this roof, and uh, in a classic Play-Doh oopsie fashion, I, I built it all one block off. So, <laughs> but uh, guys, measure your builds, please. I, I, when will I learn this lesson? Also, I don't want to look right now, but I have a sneaking suspicion that this whole wall is is, is in the wrong spot. But you know what? We're, we're gonna we're we're gonna get to that later. I'm gonna pretend that it's fine. Hey, so fun fact: I uh, I, I finished the roof, and yeah, yeah. Um, as it, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna move the wall, so I'll see y'all when this wall is one block that way. <laughs> okay, so maybe I was being a little bit dramatic. The wall's now moved. And thanks to the help from this beacon, it was actually a lot faster than I anticipated. Man, jobs are much easier than you anticipate if you just get started and do them. <laughs> and that goes for real life too, folks. Remember that. Don't put off something that's gonna be a lot easier than your brain tells you it's gonna be. Lessons with play I don't know why I sang that. <laughs> that being said, there's actually a resource that I did not anticipate needing, and that is cracked stone bricks. That's the next block we're gonna be using. We're actually gonna move this array over to the courtyard so that it'll continue working while we're building. We're actually closing in on the end of the first task. Can you believe it? <laughs> How are you doing, Bobby? You having a good day so far? No, not really. Now, I realize this super smelter isn't very super. It's a pretty basic build, but uh, hey, it gets the job done to automatically smelt a bunch of stuff, and that's all I really need right now, okay? Don't judge me. I'm kind of a lazy Minecrafter. I like farms, but I don't like to spend a lot of time on them. <laughs> Half the things I do would be made so much faster if I actually prepared for them, but I just get bored doing all the preparing. I just want to get to the thing, you know what I'm saying? In the meantime, there is a little bit more tough we need to throw in here. And the last piece of the walls go in. Now that these are completely done, there's only one final little piece of wall, and that's this right here that goes across the strip here. We got cracked stone bricks and stone bricks, and that is what we're going to do right across the top here. We're going to start with a little standing block to build up on. The wall is now complete. We just got to poke in some windows, which will go right here. I was going to wait till I was done with the tower right there uh, to uh, do the courtyard interior, but honestly, I'm kind of feeling the vibes. And the first step of that is filling all of these sides. Except for not like that. I just did that because I was uh, <laughs> trying to get a good shot and it's hard to build when you're getting a good shot. <laughs> I will be using other blocks, but for now, we're going to fill it in with stone. I decided just to do a three block layer around the edge because I don't really need to fill in the rest to build up these walls. And right now, these walls are the most important part. I have now got my first layer in of the mud brick, uh, I guess pillars is what you call them. I now have some nice arches built in and I think they're looking really nice. Look at those. So it's now time to throw in a little roof on top, but we're gonna use slabs. And that is the last of the blocks for the roof. I did end up having the materials for it and holy cow, look at that. That looks so cool. Sometimes you get so down in the dumps when you're working on a project, you're like, oh, this isn't looking good. But then if you just stick it out and you see the end result, you can realize how good it actually looks. This actually adds so much to this courtyard and it's not even done. That being said, we said we'd put in the courtyard walls and we did that. Task number one complete, let's go. <laughs> We're 
on to task number two, and that is a giant beast of a project, building this giant tower right here. Also, I apologize for my voice, because as you can hear, I got a deep, sexy voice, because I got sick. So we're going to continue, though. You guys got any tips for some sore throats? Because I, I got one. Step number one of task number two is placing blocks. Wow, can you believe it? Placing more blocks. It's like, it's like I haven't been doing that the whole... Before I keep going, though, I think it might benefit us to put in a floor in this area, because think about it. Imagine all the blocks we're about to drop as we try building this. It's, it's going to be kind of a mess, if I'm being honest. And that is the floor, and it looks great. Well, I mean, it's, it's just stone, to be honest. So it's, it's not like anything special, but you know. Now, let's build this thing up. It's gonna be really tall. I think this is looking pretty good for the first mud layer. Now, I'm not gonna start on this side yet, because this one's gonna be a little bit different. We have to kind of pull it out in this weird expanding direction. So we're gonna work on this circular part first, and it's actually turning out pretty solid. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put in some packed mud. Now the packed mud layer is in. Hello there, Bobby, you having a good day? Dripstone. Check. And the tough is done. If I'm being honest, I'm gonna be amazed if we get through this whole project without needing some type of material before we're done. That's just how my game always goes, so I assume something. We're gonna need something. Crack stone bricks are done, and next are regular stone bricks. And that is the stone brick. You know what? You guys don't need a play-by-play. -play. You know we're just gonna keep stacking these blocks forever. My voice it's so bad i'm sick anyway <laughs> i'm tired of doing a time lapse uh I i'm just gonna update you when i've made some progress <coughs> i've now built the front wall of the tower here and uh it's it's very plain if i'm being honest it, it, also it's a complete facade it, it, there's but not to worry that's nothing a little time can't fix and i have now figured out where the tower is gonna be it's where i'm standing right now tower on top of a tower if you will it's now the next day and my voice is finally starting to come back thank goodness uh but also we actually made some excellent progress on this check this out so i built up the roof here built up the tower quite a bit we've got this tower here and look at this the beautiful roof is already coming together we need to make this roof go all the way up to the top up here. So that means we actually need some more deep slate. So down into the Chamber of Secrets for the last time today. Well, we are down here and let's get to mining. <laughs> that was such a weird angle. Let's get to mine. <laughs> what? I've now got about <laughs> an half an inventory full and uh, a, and almost a shulker box full. I think that should be enough to finish up this roof. It's not a humongous roof. It's kind of small compared to everything else I've done. Ah, back up into the light with the castle. I love this place. This tower is already looking so cool. I can't wait to finish this bad boy. Turn these into our various blocks that we need for building this. And now I need to place a bunch of these blocks over and over and over till we have a nice sloping roof that'll go to a point right about there. Okay, so I don't know what's gotten into these guys, but there are just a million. Oh my goodness, no, 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 no. <laughs> I just, okay, <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. I was... <gasps> okay, so one of them exploded somehow. You know, I wasn't here. He like killed all the mobs. That was great. <laughs> that being said, I should probably just sleep so we don't have to deal with this problem. So I was just looking at this tower and I actually think that I maybe made it just slightly too big. So I was experimenting around with a slightly smaller size. What do you guys think? Do you think this tower is too big? Or do you think we should keep it as is? I don't know, maybe, maybe I should leave it. I gotta think about this a little bit more. But what I do know is that this roof still needs to go in either way. So let's continue banging this thing out. And that is the top of the roof. I can't believe we just finished that. <laughs> Holy. I need to blend in the colors a little bit in between each of these transition colors. Oops. <laughs> that is the coolest roof I've ever done, I think. Oh. Oh, don't look at that hole. I need, I need to... Wow, I'm really impressed with myself. I didn't, I didn't really know how I was going to do this roof. And uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Let me go ahead and fill in my little hole, though. <laughs> okay, that's awkward. I have now got the different deep slates blended in together. As you can see, they kind of just are a little more naturally flowing there, which I think adds a lot to it. And now comes the big decision. Do I make this tower smaller or not? And... <laughs> 
This might be one of the most satisfying things I've done in the game so far. <laughs> uh, hello guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now that we've tore it down, we replace it. And actually it is a lot faster than I expected. Once again, things always look worse than they're gonna be, but uh, <laughs> progress is happening. Uh, I am now digging out the clock part of the tower. It's not very circle yet. Don't worry about it. It'll be more circle later. But I also have been working on this tower here. I got the roof put in and I, I think this is how I want these to be. It, it, it's kind of hard shape to build, but I think it's turning out. I don't know. Something about this tower. I'm in the phase of building it where I don't like the tower at all. I think the whole thing looks bad. So hopefully with time, that's going to fix itself. You know how it usually does when you work on a build for a long time. So I'm not going to give up. Uh, I, I'm I'm, I literally want to stop recording because I'm like, <laughs> why? Why does it look so bad? But I have faith that with time, I will slowly be able to get it somewhere that I'm happy with. So wish me luck because I really don't want to hate this project. I really want to love it. <laughs> Since I wasn't really sure about the tower, I decided to pause on that and instead figure out the spacing of the windows on the whole tower. You know, not the, the top. Oh, not the top tower up there. I think this is the spacing I'm gonna go with. So also have 13 floors. Basically, I just need to array these five windows over. So holy cow, you guys, this guy has scaled the wall all the way from down there. I mean, there's lots of mobs, sure, but this guy is determined. Two of them. We, oh my goodness, my voice keeps getting worse. <laughs> we, we are actually making some solid progress though. Check this bad boy out. Uh, not only did I put in all the windows, I also put in the big circle and I capped off the bottom of these two towers, which I think is actually adding a lot to the build. I'm starting to like it a little bit. Is that a good thing? I think that's a good thing. <laughs> Either my standards are dropping or the build's getting a little better. We're actually getting close. Can you believe it? It is growing on me. I will say it is growing on me. So here we are once again on the place where we began the video. And I am happy to say that we have completed the build, which means that we have also completed our task number two. What a wonderful momentous occasion. I'm going to show you guys what we did to get to where we are now, but that is task number two completed. Boom. <laughs> this project took it out of me. I've been working on this for like two and a half weeks. Took me much longer than I expected. But let's do a little bit of a tour of what we completed. We put in all the windows and detailed them. As you can see here, I added in little shadows underneath the edges here. I know that the front may look a little plain here, but I actually wanted to keep it pretty uniform. I think the windows add in a pretty heavy level of detail already, and I didn't want to get too crazy with it. After all, this is just one tower in all of Hogwarts. And I think when you take a look from this right here, I think it fits in fantastically with the whole build overall. I did also add in some windows, as you can see, and a little tower on top, as well as finishing all of the roofing. And these windows actually go in all the way around the build. These are exactly the way they are on the model of Hogwarts that they use for the movies. Those are exactly where you would normally see those windows, and I think it looks fantastic. It is gigantic. Look at that tower. <laughs> you can't even really appreciate the scope when you're down here, but it does make this feel a little enclosed, which I think is exactly what we were going for. And I think I love it. I, I know that I was saying I was getting a little frustrated and I couldn't figure out what exactly I wanted the whole thing to feel like, but look at this. I can't believe I did this in two and a half weeks, but at the same time, I wish I did it faster. <laughs> is the astronomy tower and you're probably wondering 
what is the secret task? Because that is all we have to do left. I want to make a raid farm. I need more Uno reverse cards, please. So basically I pillared up in the middle of the ocean, then I made a platform on top where I could put my spawning stuff, and then I built upwards and got some villages over. I put down a bunch of chests for some storage. I put some leaves so I could have somewhere to stand without them spawning. I made a ladder up to the top. I destroyed some stuff that I made a mistake with, and I got the effect on me, and then I went back and started the raid, and it worked, and it was fantastic, and that's definitely how easy it was. There was no other, uh, yeah, and then my totem worked, thankfully too and that's why i need more totems <laughs> anyway that is how i got all these totems and it's gonna work great for the future i think which is awesome and that is task number three officially complete thanks for being part of this journey i'll see you next time